We're going on vacation. We're going on vacation. We're going on vacation. Going on vacation. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So it's the week of our vacation. We are taking a family vacation. We're gonna be meeting up with my husband's side of the family, reuniting with my nieces, and Archie's gonna be reuniting with his cousins. They're gonna be meeting Scotty for the first time. We're so excited. We're going to Disney. We are thrilled. We are about like five days away from leaving. Yeah, so we fly out Friday. It's Sunday today. And I am like shuffling around making sure I have ordered all the things that I need in preparation for this trip, making my to-do list for the upcoming week, creating my packing lists. It's a whole nother dynamic when you're traveling with kids. But when you're traveling with two kids, with a pretty decent age gap, gets even more interesting so we're gonna be flying in to Orlando out of Puerto Rico um, and we're gonna rent a car when we get there so I got to figure out the car seat situation what stroller we want to bring um, it's hot there's gonna be pools so we need to figure out like how to keep the kids cool while we're walking the parks uh, life vests for when we're at the pool for our Airbnb just like so many little things and then on top of that I gotta figure out like with pumping how I'm gonna bring my pump parts and clothes and diapers and all that stuff so this vlog is gonna be over a span of this week so a few days in preparation for my trip how I pack for vacation with two babies a three-year-old and a six-month-old. Scotty's gonna be six months by the time we get to Florida. So we're so excited. This is Scotty's first trip on an airplane. So we're excited, a little bit nervous, but excited is really like the main thing here. I cannot wait to see my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law and my nieces. It's gonna be such a good time. Um, we're gonna be visiting Angel's grandma too. So Scotty's gonna meet her other great grandma. Her and my grandma get along so good. So it's gonna be super fun to see her meet my husband's grandmother as well. Ow, Scotty, ow. Anyway, so if you are interested in how we're getting ready for this trip, then keep watching the vlog. And I will be checking in with you guys over the next few days until we get ready to go. So I started a pack list on my phone, but I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed with that pack list because there's tons of things on it. Things that are for me, things that are for the kids. You can't see it, but it's there, I promise. The first thing on my pack list is my mini ears. Mini ears are priority, duh. But I figured that I think the easiest way just to do my tried and true keeper checklists and I'll do a separate list for the kids stuff and a separate list for like my things that I don't want to forget to bring so that it's a little bit easier to track and a lot less overwhelming. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and separate the two lists, write out the list for the kids stuff, write out a separate list for my things, and then I'm gonna go downstairs and um, find my car seat cover so i bought this car seat cover on amazon because now we have another baby so we needed a second car seat cover for her stuff that we're checking at the gate i gotta go find the other car seat cover make sure it's still here and then i have a bunch of things off amazon that i've already ordered to make sure that our trip is as seamless as it can be i got a stroller cover so a nice bigger bag to put our stroller and once we get to the gate, I'm going to check the stroller at the gate. That way I can have it. I need to bring my carrier, my baby carrier. Oh my God, there's so many things.
Another way I prep for vacation is cleaning. So at the beginning of my to-do list for this week is a few household cleanups. I'm gonna clean the bathrooms today, which is my least favorite, but also the most rewarding thing to clean. I really love the way it feels to have a freshly cleaned bathroom. So I'm scrubbing the bathtubs, taking all the bath mats out, like all the slip resistant bath mats, giving all of those a nice good scrub. I already did the bath mats actually. Now I'm gonna do the bathtubs. So yeah, I'm gonna clean the bathtubs now. And then I'll check my to-do list for what else I need to get done today. But I think that's it for today. Today's Monday, we leave Friday. So on the agenda for today is clean, and figure out what I'm gonna be making for dinner this week so that none of my produce goes to waste while we're gone. Another thing is I got Angel to fish out my mini ears because obviously these are an essential part of any Florida Disney vacation. So I got those. I'm excited. I'm so excited to go to Disney with the kids. So I. We got these that are going in the luggage. And then I also found um, the second car seat carrier. So these fold out into this very giant convenient carrier for when you check your car seats at the airport, which when you're traveling with little ones is a must. Anywho, tie my hair up. Let's go scrub some toilets. away and cleaning three bathrooms Hi. deep cleaning three bathrooms Hi. I'm done that part of my to do the last thing on my list for today in terms of vacation prep was to create the dinner menu for the week which I did so I every week I have this little sheet that I made on like a word doc that I got it laminated and I write out the menu for the week so every day I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even the weekend meals planned out. Now the reason I do this as part of my vacation prep is because I hate wasting food. And so that I don't end up having a ton of produce or a ton of ingredients just go bad while I'm away, I make it a point to cook those items for meals that week. So I have green beans, green beans that are getting ready to go bad, broccoli, some pasta, like refrigerated um, tortellini, that's gonna go bad. So I mapped out the menu for this week based on the ingredients that I have that will go bad by the time we get back. So I did that. We're not, I'm not making anything Friday because we are Florida bound, baby. So that is it for today in terms of my vacation prep. I'm going to chill for like the next 30 minutes before I have to start dinner for today, but I'll hit you guys back up tomorrow and continue on with the vacation prep. All right, vacation prep continues. I went out and got my nails done. So they are ready for vacation. I actually had already gotten a pedicure this past weekend on Saturday. So my toes are done, my nails are done. Next on the agenda for today is laundry, which my lovely husband has already started a few loads for me, so thank you, babe. Uh, so finish up some laundry for today. Figure out which bags we're gonna use as carry-ons. And I think that's it for today. So I'm gonna change out of my errand clothes, which my outfit's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Got this cute little straw bag at Old Navy, these jeans and a black tank top that's pretty fitted and these jeans are flares which I think are so cute anyway not the point of this video but I figured I'd show you guys I got dressed so 
Um, all right, let's finish up the to-dos for today. We got nails, gotta figure out my carry-on bags and finish up the laundry that I have set out for today. <laughs> I'm almost done of uh, folding all the laundry for today. I'll finish up the rest of the loads tomorrow, but that's how much I got done. I have one more load I need to fold, but what I'm doing as I'm folding laundry is picking out pieces from the laundry that are clean that I absolutely know for a fact I'm going to take with me to Florida. So, this is some of the stuff that I picked up for the kid. I got Scotty this little fourth of july romper this little onesie i didn't find her any mini stuff so i thought this was like giving mini vibes so and then the pajamas that i know for sure i'm gonna bring for her same thing with archie um i got him these two mickey shirts and then whatever pajamas i know for a fact i'm gonna be taking anything that i know for sure is getting packed i'm setting aside as i fold through the laundry and then the rest of the items that i'm gonna be packing for them I will pull this Thursday. I think that's what I have on my to-do list for Thursday. We leave Friday, so I think I'm done for today. Oh, one other thing I needed to do was pick out the um, carry-on bags. So we have three personal items that we can bring. We're flying Frontier, guys, so if you know anything about airlines such as spirit and frontier they literally charge you for the air that you breathe on their flights so for carry-ons we literally have like a personal small tiny backpack that we're allowed to bring so i think this is what we're gonna bring yeah oh this is heavy this is angel's backpack okay this is the bag one of the backpacks that we're gonna take it looks like it'll fit a decent amount of things in there. So this is personal item number one. Personal item number two is going to be the diaper bag, which is pretty big. It's still a backpack, but it's like large enough that I could stuff it with a bunch of things if I need to. They have weight limits on their luggage, which everyone has a weight limit, but Frontiers is like 40 pounds or 30 something pounds. It's very small, like weight limit, like a low weight limit. So... Um, we only have, we only have two checked bags, two checked car seats, and then the stroller that we're going to check at the gate, plus the three personal items, because we paid for Archie's seat, he's three years old now, so he's not a lap kid anymore, which I would never put him on a, my lap for a flight anyway at this age, um, so he has a, a seat of his own, therefore he has a bag of his own, and then Angel and I are going to have a bag, so we're going to sort through what I'm all gonna put in the personal you all right my kids are you want an applesauce now I love that my kids are all under the weather so this could not have come at a worse time but prayers that in the next few days whatever they've got going on will be cleared up or at least almost cleared up anywho I'm not going to pack the personal backpacks until I'm done packing the luggages and then I'll decide what items we're going to bring with us other than the obvious stuff like in the diaper bag um, but clothes is pretty heavy so if I have to like move things around to make sure that our checked luggages make weight I will do that but I think I've figured out I narrowed down the bags we're going to do this bag okay my husband's uh, backpack Okay, one second. And the diaper bag. So that's it for today. Gotta finish up this laundry, but that's it. And then tomorrow, 
more laundry and more prep. vacation prep continues um, it is Wednesday and I'm switching up a few of the things that I had on my to-do list I'm still doing some more laundry I feel like laundry is like that never-ending task that will never fully be over but anywho I've gotten most of the laundry that I need in order to pack done so I figured today is actually the better day to pick out the outfits that we're going to be wearing. So I have my pack list here. I've written out like how many of everything I need, how many outfits I need for each kid, how many pajamas I need for each kid, how many underwears, things like that. So I'm going to go through and pull those items just so that I can make sure we don't accidentally use them until we leave. Like I just want them out of the way, packed and you know not in use because they're already washed and i don't want to have to worry about that again so that's what i'm going to do today i'm actually going to try on the outfits that i want to bring for myself i'm really trying to be as minimal as i can because we have a pretty significant weight limit and it's just hard when you're traveling with little ones so because i've purchased a few new things also my body is just still evolving changing i want to try i never do this i i never do this and honestly i'm dreading it because it's so hot but i want to try on what i'm bringing because i want to make sure i'm bringing only things that fit me and i feel good in and i'm going to be comfortable in etc so i'm going to try on a few different looks um just to make sure i'm packing the essential items and not overpacking. i don't have the space to bring potential things i only have the space to bring literally what i'm gonna wear literally what the kids are gonna wear and then for the kids just like a few extra things for oopsies um so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm also creating my shop list so i'm gonna run out to walgreens today buy whatever travel sized items we need so this is like my little travel kit that i always bring with me and it's pre-filled with tons of travel essentials i love that this exists in my closet and anytime i need to travel i just always pull it out and just inventory what i need so we've got plenty of shampoo here i've got plenty of face wash uh deodorant lotion i need to pick up another body wash because this one's like halfway and we'll probably end up using that all so i'll need an extra one and then i need some more travel toothpaste because i have like nothing barely nothing left so this makes it so that I'm not overbuying things. I don't buy extra unnecessary travel items, only what I need. So I started my shop list for those items and I'm gonna go out later today hopefully and get that done. So on the agenda today is pack the outfits and you know, the things that I can pack and finish up some laundry and shop for whatever lingering items I need to shop for. So, that's what we're doing. Another thing I forgot to mention is I pulled out my packing cube. So these have been so great. I can't recommend them enough um, for travel. So a lot of my, my little cubes are already, again, pre-packaged. So this one is like all my hair essentials stuff. So I don't have to buy any of this stuff. I have a travel size dry shampoo, gel, a comb, a hairbrush, hair ties, just some hairspray, all the things, some clips, and this just stays in my closet for any time that I need it. I just keep it all together. Um, and then this is usually where I'll put my hair tools that I'm bringing, if I'm bringing a straightener or a curler or whatever. We'll go in here. And now these are gonna be especially essential now that I have two little ones that I'm packing for because I'm gonna try my hardest to keep all of Scotty's clothes in one cube and then all of Archie's clothes in another cube and then all of my clothes in a third cube. So if you don't have packing cubes, again, highly recommend. I feel like it helps you get things really compressed and just packaged in there really tight and nice. And it keeps you organized during your travel so you're not like just rummaging through suitcases trying to figure out 
what you need. So anyhow, that was just another little tidbit. So I'm about to start stuffing these um, travel cubes up with baby stuff. So I'm pretty sure I have landed on what I'm gonna be packing. I tried on a few things. I might swap out maybe like a top or two, but overall I have a general idea of what all I'm gonna bring. I've narrowed it down. I got bathing suits sorted through. Now I'm gonna do the kid stuff, so. All right, so. I'm a hot mess, but I think I've picked out all the outfits for the kids. Now I just have to put it all in the cubes. Um, here's what I got for Scotty. I even like picked out the bows that she's gonna wear with the outfits too while I'm at it. So I got some extra outfits. We're there for four days, roughly four days, barely four days. So I packed her eight outfits. I always do double for her just in case. I mean, she probably doesn't even need double. I could probably get away with just doing two extra outfits, but. Just in case, you know, just in case. So I got her stuff there, packed her her bows that she's going to be wearing with the outfit, and then one little pair of sandals because she obviously doesn't even walk yet and doesn't need shoes, but just a complete little cute look. So I'm going to try to pack her up in this one here. Um, and then I got all of Archie's stuff. So here's all the outfits that he's going to wear in order to. So like I just made it easy every day. I'll just grab the one that's on the top some swim stuff over there and then I think I'm gonna pack their pajamas in their it's in its own cube that way the nighttime stuff could just live in its own little cube so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of Scotty's stuff in her cube all of Archie's stuff in his cube and then I think that's gonna wrap it up for today I think that's really all I'm gonna have time for today if I have an opportunity sorry if I have an opportunity to run out to pick up those little I don't end things I will because tomorrow's Thursday and then like that's it we leave on Friday Friday night but still it's gonna be hectic I already know Scotty says she's ready to vacation stretch we leave tomorrow evening we fly out to Florida tomorrow evening so I gotta wrap up these to do's um, finishing up laundry today I don't always do this but I love if I get the chance to wash all of our bedding before we leave that way when we come home we get home to fresh clean sheets especially since the kids have been under the weather I really really wanted to make a point to wash our bedding I didn't wash the comforters because I have to hang dry those and the weather's not really cooperating today. So I'll do that when we get back from Florida, but at least like the sheets and our sheets that we use to sleep on and sleep in will be nice and fresh and clean. So I did that this morning. I did my eyebrows. I'm breaking out terribly, which is wild because I literally haven't had a breakout in over a year and a half. And now that I'm about to go on vacation, my face decided 
not only to have one breakout but two very large breakouts so that's always fun anyway on the to-do list for today was wash the sheets finish up the laundry do my eyebrows it's like um hygiene day i guess doing my eyebrows i gotta clip the kids fingernails and toenails moms if you know you know it's just those random little to-dos that you have to do for your kids um and i'm gonna wash my hair tonight and style it so that way tomorrow it's just like a quick little touch up before going to the airport um that's that in terms of hygiene stuff and then we have to pack i have to pack everything that i can pack in the suitcases today because tomorrow should just be cleaning the house so that we come home to a clean house and packing those last little things um that i can't put away yet because we'll need them tonight and tomorrow throughout the day um such as baby monitors chargers cameras things like that so let's finish up the to do's for today let's get this packing done hopefully i'll be able to put scotty down in the walker let's see if she's down for it she took a really nice long nap this morning so i'm hoping that she'll start feeling better soon but she only wants to be she only wants to be with mama she only wants to be carried so i have her in my little um carrier right now but it's still really hard to get anything done with her strapped to my chest let me show you guys my little walgreens haul so i did end up going to walgreens yesterday i got two loofahs one for us one for the kids i got a travel toothbrush with a little cover on it travel toothpaste um, which reminds me I have to pack Archie's toothpaste um, I didn't I don't think they sell kids travel toothpaste this is my favorite lip balm it's by Vaseline it's the creme brulee flavor it's the best the best 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 lip balm in my opinion we have some hand sanitizer some sanitizing wipes I always have a plethora of these wet ones um, sanitizing wipes on deck especially when I'm traveling I keep them in every single bag so that way I could just grab one and whenever I need it some gum for the airplane I was almost out of concealer so I picked up this one by Maybelline it's the fit me concealer I got it in the shade 20 sand there was slim pickings I don't know if this is my proper shade I hope it is we'll see That's all. Um, I got some, you okay? I got some, uh, floss picks. Those are nice for vacation. They're just easy. Some more body wash, travel size body wash, travel size, um, toner. And this is in the facial mist version by Thayer's. This is the toner I love to use at home. Whenever I get the regular one, it spills in my travel case. So I'm going to try the spray one to see if it just does a better job of like keeping the product contained and not spilling um i picked up a new tinted moisturizer i used the one by wet and wild uh tinted hydrator there's hyaluronic acid in this and squalene it's lightweight non-greasy finish sheer to medium i definitely agree it's a sheer to medium coverage at best i wouldn't even say medium but i just like this to throw on um as like a base so i'll put on my SPF and then I'll put this on just to kind of like give myself a nice even canvas to apply very light makeup um, This isn't gonna do a good job of covering up something like that uh, That's what concealers for though. So um, I really like this It's really great for the summer because of how lightweight it is and hydrating so it makes your skin look really dewy um, I've been loving that I almost finished the tube that I'm currently on so I re-upped and I got it again and then I picked up some Teddy Grahams for Archie as a snack. Um, it's a late flight. I don't think he'll be up, but we're going to be having dinner earlier than usual. So just in case he gets a little antsy, I'm going to pack him those Teddy Grahams and then like maybe some, I don't know, some other snack. Like his apple sauces and he does like these little like biscuits and stuff. So I'll pack him that too. But that's everything from Walgreens wish me luck let's see if i can bang out the rest of what i need to get done today with two little ones that are under the weather and especially little miss thing here who just doesn't want to be put down Swim trunks, swimsuit. 
two. How many switches did you have? One? So. All right, I made it to the end of Thursday. Tomorrow we leave. Everything that I can pack is pretty much packed. I'm just going through right now and organizing what little things I want to bring in our carry-on as toys for Archie to distract him and keep him busy. It is going to be a late flight. We leave around 8 p.m., which is his bedtime, so he might fall asleep. He probably won't, though. And we obviously are going to bring the iPad because... He can watch movie, a movie on there or something if he's just not feeling the crafts. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to be almost done with everything that we need to bring. I need to review my pack list. And I think the remaining items are just going to have to get packed up tomorrow. All right, I made it to the end of Thursday. Tomorrow we leave. Everything that I can pack is pretty much packed. I'm just going through right now and organizing what little things I want to bring in our carry-on as toys for Archie to distract him and keep him busy. It is going to be a late flight. We leave around 8 p.m., which is his bedtime, so he might fall asleep. He probably won't, though. And we obviously are going to bring the iPad because... He can watch movie, a movie on there or something if he's just not feeling the crafts. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to be almost done with everything that we need to bring. I need to review my pack list. And I think the remaining items are just going to have to get packed up tomorrow. All right, we made it. It is vacation day. We leave tonight. I have just a few last loose ends to tie up. Um, on the agenda is cleaning, so I have to like sweep and vacuum a little bit. Mop too, because I like to come home to like a nice clean house, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, and then just finish out packing the little random things that I couldn't pack yesterday. So we're leaving tonight. I'm really excited, also a little nervous because we're traveling with two kids, so two babies, a toddler and a baby, but that tends to complicate things just a little bit so we'll see this is scotty's first flight ever we just realized too that we're gonna be in disney for her six months so she turns six months and we're taking her to disney um so that'll be fun and this is archie's like i don't know seventh or eighth flight he's been on several flights but um he's a toddler now so it's a little different it's a little harder to keep him entertained but lucky for us it is a really short flight it's only like two hours so that's like a movie a movie and like an activity so or or he'll fall asleep which would be the best case scenario so we'll see how it goes let's get today's to do's done let's get going going on vacation going to disney i'm excited i'm a little tired but we're gonna get through it all right, so I'm getting ready to pack the carry-on bags. I'm starting with the kids' diaper bag. Um, so I'm gonna go s sort through their little pouches. I always keep snack pouches, extra clothes in case of accidents. I'm gonna put a brand new pack of wipes in here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and download some movies and keep the iPad in here just ready to go. Stuff it with diapers and um, some activities for Archie on the flight. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get this diaper bag ready to go and pull out the kids' airport outfits. All right, so I've got the diaper bag packed to the brim. We've got snacks, tons of extra diapers, change of clothes, medicine, uh, inhalers, sanitizer, wipes, all the things. This is what the kids are gonna be wearing. These are our airport outfits. I got this little sweatshirt with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt for Archie. He could take the sweater off if he gets too hot, but if he's cold, I think that's great for a flight. And then this little easy one-piece kind of jumper with some socks for Scotty and a cute little bow because we can't forget about the bow.
we made it y'all so I'm finished packing officially well I have to pack my breast milk I'm bringing a few bags of frozen breast milk with me just in case I am gonna be nursing because that's what our go-to is but I always get a little bit nervous about just like only relying on what I have right here um, so I'm gonna bring just a few bags of breast milk just in case I have to pack my curling wand my vlogging camera and Scotty's sleep sack because uh, Miss Thing decided that today of all days was the perfect opportunity for her to have a blowout so that's in the dryer now and then that's it we're done so everything is packed we are ready I'm gonna be showering here in a minute and then that's it we're gonna be heading out to the airport in a few hours so Thank you guys so much for following along this week on our vacation prep, how I prep for vacation, how I pack for vacation with two little ones. I hope this video was interesting, helpful in any way. Um, leave me a comment below if you do any sort of these things whenever you guys are preparing for vacation. Um, I'm curious to know how anybody else might prepare for vacation. Do I do the most or is this stuff all pretty typical? Um, anywho. I'm outside now, burning a little bit of energy with Archie. Gonna edit some of this video, hopefully get it up to you guys sooner rather than later. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one.